Though it's hard to find anyone who didn't take issue with the first presidential debate, keep in mind, before you fix anything, you have to define the problem. After the debate, I looked at the transcript. I went through it in detail to look at just how this thing transpired and specifically how much each candidate interrupted the moderator. Despite being a senior political reporter for the Washington Post, Aaron Blake clearly drew the short straw last night. So first of all, I'm I'm so sorry that you had this assignment. <laughs> it was certainly uh, the ugliest debate that I've ever uh, covered before. I found that there was actually one interruption per minute in the debate, over 90 minutes. One interruption per minute. I want to say that's a big undercount. I, I think that's fair. Uh, the, the metric I used was actually pretty narrow. I looked at only instances in which the moderator uh, gave the floor to one candidate and the other candidate cut in. So we have to be engaged. That's not what they're talking about, that's, Chris. That's well, not what that, they're that's He's talking exactly, about defunding the that, police. That is I also looked at instances in which the candidates interrupted the moderator. No, I, sir. With a billion sir, dollars, if you that is if absolutely you know what, you're, wait, not true. Not true. I didn't include when there was uh, interplay between the two candidates when they kept interrupting each other once these processes began. Ready, All right, been so fraud. now mail service delivers a gentleman in the final question. So certainly, depending upon how you define an interruption, there were many more than just the number that I counted here. It was a mess. It was not good for democracy. And it was very one-sided when it came to those interruptions, as you might have guessed from the headline of Aaron's story. Uh, 71 of those was from President Trump. 22 of those were from Joe Biden. And I think that's a big reason right now that we're talking about some kind of a reform to the rules. It was a low point for American democracy, for sure. Kevin Souter is a communications professor emeritus at St. Thomas who spent years studying the presidential debates. Is there a way to fix this? Some of my, my friends have, have thought that perhaps uh, dog shot collars would be the best solution. But um, clearly the, the solution that most people are talking about are uh, being able to control the microphones. Is there any precedent there for essentially putting a mute button on presidential candidates? I don't think that there's been any circumstance where that has occurred. He says it's unheard of because traditionally both campaigns would object to a moderator having that much power. But in a statement today, the Commission on Presidential Debates suggested that additional structure should be added to the format. And Kevin says there might be a way to do that fairly. Perhaps they could have a three strikes and you're out rule where if one interrupts the other for a period of time, then they then they then their mic is cut. Uh, and the other candidate is given uh, additional time. The other thing might simply be the public pressure that is brought to bear on President Trump for the way that he used interruptions and um, uh, talking over Biden uh, to make a point. Do you really believe that? Not for a second. The thing is, this was something we've, we've seen him do this with interviewers. We've seen him do it uh, in other debate circumstances. This is how he operates. Now, here's the other thing to consider. The next debate is going to be a different format. It's going to be a town hall style debate where the audience asks questions. Of course, then there's no podiums and the candidates go around themselves on the stage. Now, Kevin thinks that could help creating some distance and maybe holding them accountable with an audience. But at this point, I don't think we can expect anyone to follow the rules. Jana? You know, Ken, a lot has happened with this today. Even Chris Wallace, the Fox Sunday morning anchor who was the moderator today, came out late this afternoon saying, I couldn't get control of it. I'd never seen anything like that in my career. Something else that was talked about last night is maybe let's just not do the debates, but that's not realistic, right? It's, it's really not, and that's because both of these candidates, neither one wants to look like they're backing down in any way, essentially, one could pull out if they don't agree to what these rules are or any of that. But at this point, even Kamala Harris said that Joe Biden last night will follow through with these, even if he is constantly interrupted. Of course, the Trump campaign, they may want it this way.